Leonardo's Basement is a place for children, teens, and adults who need to build things. They need to build projects that spring from their own imaginations. They need to do it with some assistance, but they, they have a vision and they need to fulfill it. My name is Steve Jevning founder and executive director of Leonardo's Basement. The organization grew out of an after-school program at a South Minneapolis elementary school. There were a number of children who wanted to stay after school to work on projects, do science experiments, go on field trips, um, all kinds of things that um, they weren't being able to do during the school day. And now we see about 5,000 people a year, 2,200 of them are children between the ages of 6 and 14. The organizing principle is really simple that um, young people have ideas and they want to um, figure out how to turn them into something and a lot of their life gets programmed for them in school or even at home um, and so freedom is a, is a big part of uh, what's necessary in the programming and that freedom can be very clearly demonstrated in how a space is set up. I think the reason why our family has enjoyed Leonardo's Basin so much, and in particular our kids love it, is because it, um, it, allow, it allows kids to be creative, it allows them to explore, to discover, and most importantly it allows them to invent. But they do get support and help from the teachers, but it's, it's kid-centered. It never becomes teacher-centered, and that's very different from a lot of programming. Anyone can come up with their idea and really get that chance to uh, go ahead and let it free without a lot of no's or do it this way and follow this guideline. And I think that's something that uh, attracted me to it early on was that just the understanding of this range of freedom and um, expression of creativity for the kids it, that just doesn't get a chance to happen too many other places. They'll become skilled problem solvers. We know that they'll become excellent communicators. We know that they have the confidence that comes from taking risks and making lots of mistakes. You have an idea. You, uh, you do a little bit of research, maybe you just collect materials, you make something, and then you test it. You decide, is this what I wanted? Is this not what I wanted? Is this working? Is this not? Um, and then based upon that decision, you either start over again, or you are comfortable with it and you set it aside. Um, today I'm working on a face light sculpture. So. <laughs> and it, I don't know, it really provides a creative outlet for me. I don't really like to work in 2D media for the most part, so it's really nice to be able to do whatever here and just be able to get whatever ideas I have out in a way that I like. Uh, Leonardo's Basement is unique for me because I'm able to bring students that I work with, young adults, uh, from Lionsgate, which is a school for high-functioning students with autism. So we're able to come on a weekly basis and volunteer. So we really integrate nicely with Leonardo's Basement. Uh, with the, I would say this is the one place that has really welcomed in our students to not only do everything from preparing the art materials to really getting in there and working with the kids. It's a really good opportunity for our students. I made three sculptures. So, um, well, this is supposed to be like a future power plant. Um, these are like energy bulbs. They um, hold energy inside them. And then um, this is like a satellite right here. Well, I'm I'm making a car, and then when you when you to do this, it'll, the wheels will turn, and then I'm gonna make it be able to go forwards and backwards. That that idea of being able to see those lights go on above kids' heads when they figure out a problem, when they accomplish something that they either didn't think they could or were surprised that they did because it wasn't what up they what they set out to do, all of those things are huge daily rewards. We want um, every student who is here for one week or one year or five years to have the the confidence and the skills to transform the world.